Stemmies, and welcome back to the Animal Anthem series. Today we'll be talking about the African forest elephant alongside the African savanna elephant, who are both listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. This change in name is caused by population declines over several decades due to poaching for ivory and loss of habitat. African elephants were previously treated as a single species listed as vulnerable. This is the first time that the two species have been assessed separately for the IUCN red list, following with the emergence of new genetic evidence. In this video, we'll be going into depth about the African forest elephant. Forest elephants are most commonly found in countries with relatively large blocks of dense forests, such as Gabroon, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Cameroon, Liberia, and Ghana in Africa. Forest elephants are essential for the germification of many rainforest trees. The seeds of these trees germinate after passing through the elephant's digestive tract. Forest elephants are smaller than savanna elephants, the other African elephant subspecies. Their ears are more oval shaped and their tusks are straighter and point downward. There are also a difference in size and shape of the skull and skeleton. Next, we'll discuss the survival of these elephants. The elephants eat leaves, twigs, and barks from the trees in the savanna. They also pull up bushes and uproot trees and feed on the roots with their strong trunks. Other elephant adaptions, besides their trunks that help them survive, are their strong social bonding abilities and their high intelligence. Elephants need extensive land areas to survive and meet their ecological needs, which includes food, water, and space. On average, an elephant can feed up to 18 hours and consume hundreds of pounds of plant matter in a single day. Forest elephants are adapted to living in dense forests. Their tusks are straight since curved ones might get caught in the underbush and vines of the forest and therefore are also smaller so they can move around the dense forest more easily. Unfortunately, not much is known about the forest elephants because tracking them is actually very difficult. Now we will discuss the endangerment status of these elephants. Forest elephants are primarily threatened by portion for bushmeat and ivory. Tens of thousands of elephants are killed each year to meet the illegal international demand for ivory. In January of 2012, over 200 elephants were slaughtered in a raid by invading Sudanese poachers in a single national park in Cameroon. Many governments do not have adequate financial or human resources to protect these animals, conduct regular population estimates, or reinforce these regulations. This allows portion to be a chronic significant problem. Thriving but unmonitored domestic ivory markets in a number of African countries, some of which have few elephants in their last standings, also fuel the illegal international trade. Anecdotal evidence from the field suggests that many elephants across Central Africa are also being hunted for their meat, but the scale of the problem has yet to be determined. The elephant's range shrank from 3 million square miles in 1979 to just over 1 million square miles in 2007. Commercial logging, plantations for biofuels, and some industries like mining not only destroy habitat but also leave it open access for elephant forest portions. Poverty, armed conflict, and the displacement of people by civil conflicts also does add to the habitat loss. All of these factors push elephants into more smaller islands where it hinders the elephant's ability to roam around. The latest assessments highlight a broad scale decline in African elephant numbers across the continent. The number of African forest elephants fell by more than 86% over a period of 31 years while for the population of African savanna elephants, they've decreased over 60% over the last 50 years, according to some assessments. Despite the overall declining trend of both African elephant species, the assessments also highlight the impact of successful conservation efforts. Anti-portion measures on the ground, together with more supported legislatures and land use, planning which seeks to foster human-wildlife coexistence, have been a key to successful elephant conservation. As a result, some forest elephants have stabilized in well-managed conservation area in Gambu and Republic of Congo. Thank you guys for joining us in for episode 8 of Animal Anthem. We hope to see you in our next video.